that's I've always had I've always had that problem of comparison where I start to drive myself crazy and eventually to the point where it's like, all right, I'm just not even gonna try anymore. Exactly. And so one of the things I have actually gotten into is uh, uh, meditation mm -hmm. and uh, focusing on staying in the moment because I yeah. realize how much time I spend just thinking and outside of the yeah. actual moment, yeah. which leads to that problem of that that those thoughts. <laughs> As long as I'm alive, I will always be questioning what I've done before and trying to improve it. So are you making, I mean, have you made, what are you doing? I mean, you're just, were you not making anything at all when we first started talking about this idea? Or were you I, just thinking in your mind? I, I think I, I come up with trying to read someone else's mind and... And a lot of that they say is the ego. Exactly. And it's like the, and that, you hear the same reference kind of is that. You know. A lot of this is having to do with like thinking, people expressing their thoughts on camera. Like, where are you at right now? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm not sure in your life. That's what you're trying to get to is, uh, oh, I lost, I lost my thought. <laughs> I got distracted by the maple syrup. Um, talking about perfection. Good. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, actually, it's like an idea that just came to me looking at this, like, framing, but um, I, I've been thinking about calling the, the documentary, like, either, like, calling it questions we ask ourselves, yeah. or calling it just questions. Yeah. That's what I think about whenever I'm making a documentary. What am I going to ask whoever the subject is? Yeah. And it's kind of taken more of a free form, this documentary, where I had questions written out, and now I'm not even worried about having written questions. Yeah. But I'm wanting you guys to do the background music for this documentary. Yeah, dude. I am excited. I, we talked about it in the parking lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, you wanted something kind of maybe like uh, mysterious and, and instrumental, and I'm totally down. Really, we've talked about this before, but I, I'm just, I want to like, I didn't have any ideas, so I, I decided to just, instead of, continuously talking about how I don't have any ideas <laughs> and thinking I'm gonna find the like the perfect one. Just got it. It wasn't happening, so I got decided to just make something. Yeah. And that I and I don't know what it's about or how to oh, describe yeah. it yet. I start I start work that way. Sometimes, you know, just nothing's moving in my head. I used to tell my students that just start gestural lines on a drawing, scribble. You know, just make the brush move even if nothing's happening. Something emerges in time, but I think, or... You know what, you could also do some stills. It's almost like a prison too. Oh, we should do some things with you. You like this idea now? Isn't this of course, cool? why not? Like, it's just a solo share, and like, it's open to like... But you know what, there could also be some things where you're like, because it, it is a portrait of you. You're, you're looking at it from your perspective, and it is the most important thing because it's what you're doing. Again, it's that idea, you are number one in your own life. But you have to remember that you're also part of everyone, other, every, everything else. The more aware you are, the more aware that you have the connections that you have. No, you start off with something. The, I'm gonna walk around with a flashlight so I feel like I'm not so out there. You can shine the flashlight at me if I can point the camera at I'm you. Gonna shine it but in. you're gonna have I to just, get batteries. I just It's like this what's happening like with this documentary, it's like 
we were capturing behind the scenes stuff, and I'm including it. I've gotten all the way down then. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Even though I don't really feel like an artist in a way, because that seems like such an amazing thing to be in. It's so like lofty and... It's exactly what I've been thinking about. Yeah, it's like, if, I'm an artist. If I call myself an artist, is that arrogant to yeah, say that? Yeah, I know. I, I feel the same way, and there's books written about that. Right now, I'm with you. I, I need to just focus on the process of creating, whether or not the thing that I'm working upon is worth showing or not. I just need to enjoy the process and let go of all, I call them the projected voices of the critics. It's critics in my head, I mean, critical voices in my head. For the longest time, I'm going to draw this, or I'm going to draw I'm gonna draw three tubes of glue, um, all squirt and liquid out the forms of man. All, all these obscure ideas, you know. And I, and it started from, you know, as a child, I'm gonna draw a house, I'm gonna draw a car, I'm gonna draw a horse, and then it went into these extremely like reaching and abstract ideas. And I definitely got to the end of the rope, and I was like, what's left? So I'm like transitioning from being just a photographer to since I bought this space opening up, oh, kind of opening up to what else, who else am I? Although I'm not saying that on purpose, but that's kind of what's happening. It's almost painful even reading about artists because you think you should, oh, I should have been like them. You know? and, you're, and you're not. You're just a common Josephine who's schlepping along through life and trying to make the most of it. And, I don't know, somewhere I'm trying to find that sweet spot where I just don't care anymore and I, I either quit making art completely and just be done with it. I dream about that sometimes. Just Never forget that um, you're number one, is what I like to say, in a world of seven billion number ones. The art that a young child does is, to that child, very important. It's much more important than anything that anyone else will do. Get an image in your head Whoa. of whatever you think, whatever that your band means to you guys. I start need, playing. There need to be an electric guitar involved in that. Yeah, I'm like a bass. Whatever. What about whatever you think about this experience right now with this video I'm making? Unknown. That's what I want the sound to be like. It's whatever you guys feel and think and picture the sound to be. Hello, world! I think if we're pursuing the arts at all constantly, I think one thing that one does with them is, or our own work is, we're, you're constantly trying to bring it into focus. It's never going to be sharp, sharp focus. You know, so I think that's what aesthetics is about, the study of aesthetics, or the pursuit of truth and beauty, or whatever your realm of art, you're constantly trying to bring something into focus as best you can in order to gain some understanding or communicate some idea. Um, but I, and I guess that's what you have to sort out in yourself. What if you're making art? What are you? Why are you doing it? Maybe it's more about what's going on inside of you, in the process. And they say it's when you lose yourself in what you're doing. And don't we all lose ourselves where we're not thinking about anything else because we're so in what we're in? And I just think that's possible for everyone. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just caught one. So see that, <laughs> that is exactly what I'm talking about here. If you look at this tree, all of these leaves here could be used to represent the various people or even animals, all the things that are alive, plants, insects, it doesn't matter, and their lives. And so how do you 
wrap your mind around that. The infinite. It's weird, like that word, like that phrase seems like really forced for people sometimes. Nobody wants to say, I don't know. I agree. Yeah. That's hard. That's the same problem. It's a fear, it's a vulnerability thing. <laughs> the best stuff is what I'm not capturing. Still, even having the camera with me. That conversation. Yeah, it's, it's stuff that doesn't end up on camera. Right. It's like the goal is to get everything on there, right? And right. And I know, I'm, I mean, that's, but it's more important to, like, have those moments that aren't even on camera, though. Mm -hmm. That's part of the process, too. I, I kind of, I take things as they come, and I think that's part of the art, artistic um, personality is this idea that there's going to be a certain amount of chaos in life, you know, and it's how do you construct something out of that? I play something, I guess. I just play, right? Just make it up, I guess. That's what you do, right? You know what I love about this painting? Is that moment right there, just before two things come together. You know? It's that, I don't know. That's as far as I got on it, though. I need to get back to it. It's still an underpainting. By the way, that's what I'm exploring, is yeah. uncertainty. Yeah. Be, un be okay, it's okay to be uncertain. The thing you push for a photographer, when you push the button, it's not as much about the subject matter, it really is you. And, and that's what you want to tap into. everybody. I, I kind of, people will ask me, so what's your style? I'm like, you, I don't know. You know, what do you, what do you paint? Uh, and then you think, why am I even doing it? So you, you know, and it's a good question, actually. I, I mean, how do I describe my work? I mean, my opinion is on major issues have radically changed over time, you know. So yeah, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see some different points of view on things. You are who you are with your life experience. I'm who I am. We each have our own... This leaf will not exist forever, just as your artwork will not exist forever. It's not about capturing something that will never, dis that will always be true, because in life that's impossible you have that whole circle again. So if you look at it like that, then it's all right to be obsessive, but it's also all right to let it go. So you can accept it for what it is. You're not alone. I think it's so yeah. easy to feel like you're alone. You know, that you're this little speck of dust. I mean, we are in an ex existential way. We are these little dots of dust in time and space, and yet we're moving with a lot of other Right. Pieces of dust, you know, and it's, it's, um, uh, somehow that, that's comforting to know that you're not alone and struggling to create. I, I think, don't you think? I think so. I mean, yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, is that we ran through all the questions? Mm -hmm. Well, we kind of turned in. They've kind of turned into different questions as I've right. been going. Well, here. that's the way it should do it. Though, <laughs> yeah. Because the the thing is, um, and I like to say this too a lot. This is one of my other sayings too: is um, prepare to be spontaneous.